We do welcome you today to our telecast, Promise Christian University Live, and we're really delighted today to be on location at the beautiful church of a very dear friend of mine, Victorious Living Christian Center with Dr. Danny Diaz. Dr. Danny, it's wonderful to have you on the program today. Well, I'm delighted to be <laughs> here. <laughs> Thank you. We've looked forward to a, for a long time to have you on, on our telecast. And uh, we'd like you to share a little bit about your ministry. And you have a beautiful church here in Pomona. And uh, how long have you been in this particular church in Pomona? We've been here about 16 years, Oh, actually. my goodness. Yes. Wow. Well, I've, I've had the privilege of visiting here in some of your beautiful services. And I must say, you're a very anointed and very powerful preacher. Well, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Mike. That's nice of you to say. <laughs> and uh, how did you get the name Victorious Living Christian Center? How did that come about? Well, you know, the word says that we're more than conquerors. And Amen. Second Corinthians chapter <laughs> 2, verse 14 says that our God always causes us to triumph. So according to our spiritual DNA, we are to live victoriously. That's so we simply called it Victorious Living Christian Center. Oh, that's a wonderful, wonderful. And how long have you been in ministry now as, as a pastor, an evangelist? Uh, how many years? Have well, you... uh, my total years in ministry now are 25. Wow. Well, you're still a young man, you know. Well. And uh, <laughs> 25 years of, of ministry. That is absolutely just fantastic. And I'd like our, our uh, viewing audience today to hear a little bit about your testimony. Brother Danny, I understand that you came from a show business background. Is that right? Yes. In fact, I was a singing nightclub entertainer. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and uh, I did that for many, many years uh, before I dedicated my life to the Lord. Yes. But during that time, I became uh, an alcoholic and uh, wow. had many problems in my life, although uh, I continued to work. I was a, a working kind of alcoholic, and I was mm -hmm. able to do my shows and everything. Yes. But my life was, was really a mess until I until I asked Jesus to help me. Oh, praise the yeah. Lord. Well, he's the only one that can help us today. But in your career, I understand that you sang locally in nightclubs and also you sang in Las Vegas. Is that right? Absolutely. Las Vegas, Lake Tahoe, my uh, goodness. Reno, and uh, Atlantic City. My, my. And you must have met some very interesting people in all, show business oh, at that many, time. many, interesting people. <laughs> and some of the top performers of our country, I'm sure that you've known them and, uh, and been around them at, during, yes, yes, during the past. Yes, yes, some Oh, that's very, very great. And during the midst of all this, you mentioned that you had gotten into drinking and all kinds of things, very worldly situations. Yes. That is around that type of environment. And uh, what was the, what, what would you say was the turning point of your life? Here you were a success in show business, that you were a top singer, entertainer. Uh, things were opening up, doors of opportunity, and uh, you were rubbing shoulders with some of the great uh, singers of the day. But what do you think really caused this turning point in the midst of all of this? Well, you know, I knew within myself, I knew I was, I was going downhill. I oh. knew something was very wrong with my life. Uh, I was uh, going to be losing my family, my oh. wife and my family, because I'd been an unfaithful husband. My life was just in a turmoil. I'd I'd, uh, you know, because of the alcohol and yes. all of the trappings that right. surround the industry, oh, uh, yes. you know, I, I got caught up in a lot of things I shouldn't be doing, and I knew that I needed something. Yes. And uh, when I heard the gospel and I heard that the Lord Jesus Christ can Amen. make us new creations, Amen. all things pass away, all <laughs> things become new, I just, I went for it. And I tell you, I turned my life over to Jesus, and there was much more involved, of, oh, course, of course. of course, But he came in, yes. and he not only uh, saved me and gave me eternal life, but he delivered me from Amen. alcoholism, Amen. put my family back together. Oh, praise God. And, uh, you know, he just uh, saved me all the way around. Wow. And and uh, a total the rest is history. Yes, yes, a total transformation took place in your life. And I know that those that are viewing today, uh, perhaps some of you are in a situation like uh, Dr. Danny was in. And uh, I know that Jesus really is the answer for all that, isn't he? Well, he is the answer. You know, I've, I've, I've been uh, accused of of thinking that Jesus is the answer for everything, and it's true. <laughs> it is true. He is the I answer. Agree. He's got the answer. He can handle anything. My goodness. You know. Now, was there, was, there, was there a certain person that witnessed to you about Jesus in the, in the midst of all the show business and the success? Was there a, an incident that maybe took place that 
caused uh, this turn in, turning to the Lord? Well, you know, I always believed in Jesus and oh, always yeah, believed really? in, in uh, I was raised uh, in a godly home, yes. uh, although we didn't have the knowledge of the born again experience, right. but I believed in God. I yes. believed in Jesus. And uh, uh, when uh, my wife became a Christian and my personal manager became a Christian, yes. uh, they began to pray oh, for me God. along with my sister and many others. Yes. And they began to pray for me, and I believe it was their prayers that drew me to the Lord. And uh, they invited me. I was invited to go to a church service. Wow. Uh, I was kind of tricked into it, actually. Well, <laughs> and it's too I long see. to go through the yeah, whole thing, but right. I, was, I was tricked into it. And, yeah. uh, I was at that church service, and I turned my life over to oh, the Lord Jesus God. Christ. And He began working with me immediately. Yes. You know, yeah. the very minute that I gave it to Him. Well, I believe you, you were probably desperate at that point, and with the, your wife and sister and others praying for for you constantly, the Holy Spirit really got a hold of your heart and really did it, did something to you on the inside right away, as you say. Yeah, no, he started working with me immediately. You know, I was sitting in that service and I cried through the whole oh thing. My. I was trying to pretend I wasn't crying. Yeah. I did it. I coughed. I sneezed. I, <laughs> uh, you know, kept wiping away the tears. I didn't want anyone to know what was happening. Yes. But I, uh, you know, I was just so touched. So touched. And it was by the, the Holy Lord. Spirit. Oh, it was indeed. And uh, and a- after your your coming to the Lord. How did the call, when, when, how soon did the call of ministry, uh, would you say, begin to, the Lord began to put that on your heart about becoming uh, a minister of the gospel? How did that happen? Well, you see, uh, I continued to sing and do my shows and that I for, for five and a half months okay. after, you know, after I'd given my heart to the Lord. I continued and I kept uh, reading the word yes. and, uh, and praying. And although, Brother Mike, I was still drinking, yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and uh, I don't recommend that we read the Word and drink, but I was kind of doing both. Yes. But the Word was increasing within me. Something and was fi- happening. Uh, yes, yeah, something was really happening on the inside of mm-hmm. me, and I was decreasing. And five and a half months later, after my uh, the day that I gave my heart to the Lord, I, was, uh, I had done three shows. I was in uh, a, a, a hotel, um, and I was back in my hotel room. I'd been drinking not only... All night, but all day. Yes. And uh, and uh, the Bible was on top of the dresser. Wow. And I felt like it was looking at me. Oh and my! So goodness. because I'd been drinking, I picked yeah. it up and I and, and with anger I put it in a drawer and slammed the oh, drawer on it. Oh, yes. But I sat back down on the bed and the Bible was still looking at me. <laughs> uh, it was just about then that I heard a knock at the door. And I went to open it, and there were two young ladies standing there with a paper sack and a bottle sticking out of it and mm-hmm. potato chips and that. And, uh, you know, I didn't even ask, who sent you, who are you, or why are you here? Or right. I didn't even greet them and say hello, but I immediately slammed the door in, in their face. Wow. Because the word had increased. And here I was under the influence. Imagine. The word had increased you know, within me. Yes. And I began yelling at the top of my lungs, Dr. Mm-hmm. Mike, mm-hmm. saying, Lord, I don't want to drink anymore. I don't want yes. to sing in these places anymore. Mm. I, I, I want to sing for you if you'll have oh, me. Oh, praise the Lord. And if you won't have me, I said, Lord, I'll, 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 I'll drive a truck. And I remember I, I, I was on the floor yes. and, 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 uh, and I fell asleep there. And the next mm. morning I woke up and I didn't forget what I said. And I packed everything, put it in my car mm. and I went down to speak to the to the uh, the, the man that I worked for and yes. this was a very dangerous man I have a I have a pet saying I, I used to work for the Godfather now I work for Father God that's right <laughs> but this was a very dangerous oh, man yes. and he didn't like people to to leave him in the middle mm. of a contract yes. but I I went to him and I said I've got to leave he asked me why what do you want now he assumed I wanted more money yes, that I want in and, uh, and, uh, and I said to him well no it's not that I'm a Christian and he said mm-hmm. well he opened his shirt and showed me his crucifix. Mm-hmm. He said, I'm a Christian too. Oh, yes. And I said, well, oh, I know, but I said, I, I want to live according to the Bible and I don't feel that I can do so. Now, everyone doesn't have to quit show business right, when right? they meet That's the Lord. True. But in my case, in I your had case, to. I had to get this. out of that environment yes. and I had to, you know, get away from all that, all those trappings that of had course. me bound, you sure. know. And, and uh, I explained that to him and he somehow understood oh, the my. Lord and he said, I don't know why, but I'm letting you go. Mm, praise and, the Lord. And that was the beginning of the, 
uh, of the rest of my life. <laughs> I, I left, I went home, and before I knew it, the little church where I was attending, yes. uh, they, they uh, took an offering and I recorded a Christian demo. Wonderful. And do you know that not uh, but a month and a half later, I was already singing my goodness. Uh, uh, Christian songs and giving my testimony of what had happened to me in, in churches and Christian meetings. Yes. And my ministry just kind of began to yes. unfold before right me. Right in front of you. As I walked right. according to God's word. My goodness. Uh, it was just an amazing experience. And, and the uh, Lord was just uh, did such a tremendous work in your life. And actually, he put you in the ministry. He called you and ordained you. That's Absolutely. What, that's, that's what's so exciting, you know. And, you know, I began by singing and giving my testimony. But yes. the pastors uh, began to, to, to ask me to preach. My. And I couldn't understand why. And they would say, well, we like what you say between the songs. Yes. So yes, I ended touched. up before a year. Yeah. had passed. Praise God. I was already preaching in preaching churches. God was just doing all this supernaturally. <laughs> and by the way, I've never had a drink again. Isn't that, from that wonderful? One, totally that night. set free from totally all Totally set things. free. No right. program, no anything. Right. Just uh, Marvelous. You know, although just, some people must go through a program. Oh, yes. There's nothing wrong oh, with that. For, right. for me, of course. God just uh, did a miracle. Total deliverance, totally yes. set free. And then transformed by the power of God. Be transformed Amen. by the power of God. And, uh, and then... Uh, called into ministry and then you began to preach in different churches and do evangelistic work is that right as you yes absolutely out? i did that for nine years wow before god called me to be a pastor wonderful yes <laughs> well you've got a tremendous church here and uh, you know god's just moving so mightily in the services so your heart really besides being a wonderful evangelist you have a tremendous heart for pastoring haven't you oh i love the people i love god's people I, he I, put I, that in me and you know the way i feel is you know god is pouring out of his spirit upon all flesh yes and you know it, when it started raining in my life yes uh, yeah. you know uh it was my duty to pour out on others that's and, right and, uh you know i just love you know yeah i just love god's people and you love god's people and you know you have a tremendous beautiful singing voice brother danny of course has a tremendous anointing on his music and of course uh uh, we'd like to ask him on the telecast today, Brother Danny, if you would sing for us. It would be a privilege for us to hear you sing. And uh, one of one of the, our favorite songs, and uh, it's beginning to rain. You mentioned rain a moment ago, but I would like if you please sing for our program today. I would be delighted Thank to sing. You. And I, I love this song because I believe that God is pouring out of his spirit Amen. upon all flesh. Amen. I'll just sing it for you Please now. do. Sweet song of morning. The leaves and the trees turn their silver cups to the sky. The silent clouds above, they're beginning to gather. The barren land is thirsty, and so am I. It's beginning.
Brother Danny, that was just fantastic. What a beautiful voice you have, and uh, you've given that marvelous talent to sing for the Lord, of whom, of course, the Lord gave you the gift in the first place. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it belongs to him, <laughs> that's to him. for sure. And, you know, we're so delighted that you're also part of Promise Christian University. And uh, a couple of years back, we were able to grant uh, Brother Danny a, a, an honorary doctorate from our school, and you're that's also right. a regent at Promise, you know. Yeah, well, I'm happy to serve in any capacity <laughs> I can. I so believe in and Promise Christian University, Thank you very and, much. and I'm happy to be a part of it. Well, we're delighted to have people of your caliber that God is sending our way. We've been very fortunate at the university with our professors and our staff and our regents and our board that God is just sending us wonderful people. And you know, Brother Danny, he told us that when we, though he put in our heart to build a university, he said that he would send people to hold up our hands so we wouldn't have to stand alone. And he's really done that. And we appreciate you being one of them as well. And I also, I understand you, you have a marvelous television program on TBN and other, and other uh, programs too. Could you tell us how that came about, your marvelous television ministry? Well, you know, uh, t- the TBN Church Channel, we've been on that now for several years. Yes. But we actually began with television in 1988. Oh, my goodness. Way back then, yeah. and that was on some uh, local channels and also um, throughout California right. and, and those kinds of things. And so we've been in it quite a bit yeah, you have now, a lot of quite, quite a while, you know. Right, and you're also seeing uh, now your program is seen internationally, I understand. Internationally, all over the world. My goodness. You know, there's nowhere on the planet where TBN doesn't have a footprint. Well, that's very, very true. Yeah, and it's know. wonderful. It's, it's just, wonderful. I think it's fantastic. And you're getting uh, correspondence from some of the uh, foreign countries like in Europe and other... Could you tell us a little bit about Absolutely. that? Absolutely. Well, we're getting... Uh, Europe is wonderful. Italy is one of... We, well, have, we have over 173 emails a week oh just my. from Italy. Just from uh, Italy. Yeah, that's the average. That's yes, an average. An average. Oh and uh, we received uh, from the Palazzo in Rome, yes. we received uh, a wonderful, wonderful letter and an actual donation oh, praise uh, God. From, from the government and that. They really love us over there in Italy. And and um, uh, thank God, God, yeah. has, God has given us that favor. Right. And so we, we're touching not only the Italian people, but all of Europe That's right. and the Middle East. The Middle East. Pakistan, uh, um, Iran, My. Iraq. We're getting... Many of the Middle Eastern nations. Yes, where oh, wow. it's because of that footprint, you know, yes. the satellite. It's it just cr- reaches incredible. and touches everything, you know. My, you're really, really a part of that 21st century move of God. I really believe the end time move of God. And your ministry is right there on time, wouldn't you say, Brother Danny? Oh, I, I, I like to think so. <laughs> yeah, I, it I believe, is. <laughs> I, I believe the Lord, you know, has a plan and yes. I'm just happy to be a part of it. And I believe it's just the beginning. I know that God's going to use you in even a more mighty way than he has even up to this point. Uh, you have such a tremendous uh, ministry and, and you have such a heart for people. You have a very great compassion like the Lord. I mean, you know, we've been friends for several years now. And one of the things that uh, Adele and I have admired so much about you is your, your passion for the Lord and compassion for the people. And I think it's so commendable for a man of God as, as, as you are. And I'm glad, I'm very honored that the Lord would, would enlarge your ministry. And I believe he's going to continue to enlarge that. And not only your television ministry, but, but you're also an author. And I have a copy of Dr. Danny's book here today. Uh, and I'd like him to talk a little bit about that, A Life Designed by God. And it's a fantastic book. For those that uh, are interested in getting it, you can contact uh, Dr. Danny later. And uh, Dr. Danny, would you please tell us how the Lord put that book into your spirit? Well, you know, in uh, Jeremiah chapter 1 and verse 5, it says that before the Lord formed us in our mother's womb, He knew us. That's right. But the us that He knew 
was not only in us, it was a purpose and it was a destiny. He has a plan and yes. expect it in for you, for me, for everyone on the face of this planet. No one is here by accident. No one is here by mistake. Everyone is here on purpose, on purpose. God's purpose. That's right. And this book uh, shows people h how to find uh, the plan of God yes. by walking on his word and according to his word and following uh, the direction of the Holy Spirit. And it's an awesome book because it, 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 it goes to the root right. uh, of, of, um, of the human condition and people, you know, they're so disappointed in their past or what yes. they have or have not accomplished in right. their past. Right. And this book shows you that no matter where you are in your journey, you can pick up right, right where God right. <laughs> has you yes. and you can begin accomplishing and fulfilling God's divine intention right. for your life. Well, I've, I've, I personally have enjoyed the book so much. It's ministered to Adele and I so greatly, uh, Brother Danny, especially in the discovery of our purpose and, and, the, and the calling that God has in our life and the direction and the journey you mentioned. So you actually believe, of course, as we do, that P God has a journey for each and every one of us to take. Yes, and you know, if we will walk according to His Word, renewing our minds, of course, on a daily oh, basis, of course. because there's so much... Uh, uh, data in there that from all of our years of accumulated knowledge right. that tries to block us from our destiny. Oh, you know, very, very we true. have to renew our minds and then walk according to his word. If we will walk according to his word and embrace the outcome of every yeah. step that we take yes. on any given day, it sets us up for our next step. The next step. And, That's true. and you know, his plan and his purpose for our lives unfolds before us That's right. if we're walking according to his word. Some people want the blueprint right out oh, in front right of them. Front of, yeah. They want to know what's going to happen oh, a yeah. month from now and two months from now. Yeah. And that's not the way God no, operates. No, no. He wants us to walk by faith. Step by step. Trust in the Lord with all your heart <laughs> yeah. and lean not to your own understanding. Amen. And I know that many of our viewers out there today, I'm sure many of them are even uh, those who know the Lord are still trying to discover their purpose. And what would you say to our viewing audience today in a way of, of comfort and encouragement about discovering your way? Well, what I would say, in fact, I'm going to speak right Please to, the, do. to the camera. Please do. What I would say to you, if you're having difficulty knowing what God's plan is for your life, get into His Word and, and begin to read His Word and ask Him to speak to you. From His Word, you will get the direction that you need. Yeah. And as you follow that direction, I promise you, God in His sovereign ability, by His Holy Spirit, will begin to unfold your future before you. Don't be moved by where you've been or the failures of the past, or those things that seemingly uh, have been a blockage to you, but know that your God is a God that can move you forward so long as you trust Him. Don't be moved by your logic or your ability to reason. I'm telling you, human logic has stopped the progress of people long enough. Uh, you need to understand this, and you need to know that your God is an awesome God, and He'll move you forward. Amen. Brother Danny, could you give a little short prayer to our viewing audience today, please? Sure, sure. Father, in Jesus' name, yes. we just thank you in the power yes. of agreement that you are touching our viewing yes. audience yes. right now. There are so many people, Lord God, yes. that have unsung songs in them, yes. un, uh, unpreached uh, sermons, Lord God, unfulfilled dreams yes. and visions, Lord yes. God. And I would just ask, Lord God, that you would utilize this yes. program to yes. stir them up, Lord mm. God, and cause them to move forward according to your anointing, according to your power, and according to your divine design. Now, Lord God, I thank you that you are taking over everyone's yes. life now, Amen. Lord God. And Amen. I thank you that as we turn it over to you, yes. we are moving forward and we shall accomplish and fulfill your divine plan. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. And I believe that. Amen. Well, Brother Danny, it's been such a thrill to have you on the program today here. It's at been a Promise blessing Live. for me. <laughs> and, you know, and we appreciate your friendship to us and to our school. And uh, we just uh, love your, your ministry so much. And, and uh, I, would, you know, I, I would encourage your audience to get his marvelous book. And, uh, and we just appreciate you so very, very much. 
And so just thank well, you. we love you. And keep we praying for us here at Promise, you know. And uh, we want to thank you again today for, for being our very special guest. My blessing. Thank you. My God bless you. Mike, it never fails. Your guest was so inspiring today. And today was no exception. We look forward each week to coming into your home and bringing with us a guest who will add something special to your day. And if you know of someone who you'd like to see on Promise Christian Live, give us a call. Our phone number is 626-296-7507. Emailing us works too. Our email address is pculive at mypcu.com. Have a blessed day. God be with you as you cope with the ups and downs of life. See you next week. Thank you.